How is it going, everybody? Thank you for joining me here for another reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen. So we're in the middle of the exchange event, and suddenly the stakes got a lot bigger because the villains are here. We got a big fight against the tree. Hanami, I believe the name was. Old Grandpa busted out his guitar, which was the coolest thing I've ever seen, so I want to see more of that. And yeah, whatever Mahito gets up to, we got some shit. Gojo's being stopped by a barrier. I want to see what's going to happen with these fights. Yuji and Toto working together. That should all be fun, so subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I got Jujutsu Kaisen coming every week. In addition to the other anime that I react to, if you want to go a step further, you can check out the Patreon linked down below. It's the best way to help support me and my channel, and in return you get rewards like early access, four episodes in advance, full-length reactions, that kind of stuff. If you want to check it out, I really appreciate that. Either way, thank you for being here. We're going to jump into Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 19. Stop, nice. He can just stop an enemy's attack. That's really convenient. Whoa, nice. But they can't... Oh, that's a little bit of damage. A little bit. Okay. Oh, God, it didn't work. Oh, no. Damn, he's overused it, I guess. Oh, that sucks. It makes sense that there's a drawback to such a strong power. Oh! Yeah, holding that thing back was so tough that it wore Inumaki out really fast. Now it's up to you. Oh, he's still here. Bring out the elephant again, or if you have something that breathes fire, like a dragon, <laughs> which I doubt. Blast away. Whoa, oh shit. Not very far away. That's good, though. It's going to be like the last thing he can do. He gave it his all. Whoa! I was wondering what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> well, what blade? <laughs> she, there she showed up. Shit. Oh, nice. Okay. How about that? Saying we can't cut you. How about that blade? Five billion. Whoa. Maybe I won't hold on to it then. Whoa, she's got a... Staff, that was a hell of a hit. That's a shame. That's really sad. <laughs> I don't know if you can replace them in some way. Oh, they transfer over? Is that what happens? Oh, shit, look at that. That's interesting. I wasn't sure if they were destroyed forever. I noticed that we never saw the dog again, but I was hoping for it to one day make a comeback. And it kind of got to. I'll give a, okay, switch it up, switch it up. I like that. Keep him on his toes. Good combos. Chop those eye trees, but it's not making any lasting impact. Whoa! Oh shit, he's got a thing growing out of him. Gross! Gross. We're going to have to do something about that. We can't have you infected. If you use cursed techniques, that thing is going to grow and just kill you faster. Yeah, so... Ugh, what do you do? You gotta fight, though. Why? Is somebody else here? Yuji and Toto? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that should be fun. Let's get those combo punches. And Toto's been, like, training Yuji while they were fighting. Wow, look at that. You can feel... The confidence. It's like the mood has changed a little bit. So he's going to make Yuji fight by himself and try out his new technique before he steps in himself. Okay, all right. He's still being a teacher, even now. With the guy who killed Junpei? That is correct, and that is all the information he is going to need to know. He's going to be pissed. Oh, shit! <laughs> I will take that as a yes. What is this? Did he... Was that a black flash? It didn't look like it. No, definitely not. Whoa! Okay, but you also got to remain calm and focus in order to use this, right? <laughs> Your honeymoon? <laughs> Don't call it that. I will accept the best friend thing. Thank you so much, best friend. Thank you so much, best friend. Yes, he should be a teacher when he's older. If he 
feels like it. He seems pretty good at it. A trillionth of a second. What the fuck are you talking about? That's that's insane. That's beyond fast. I'm sure it is. How the hell are you going to manage that? Whoa! See what I mean? He's a good teacher. That's a great metaphor. Even if it's just been three seconds, you've learned a lot. And now you can take that and learn even more from it with your best friend. Oh shit. I knew there was something under there. He's a... he's an Ivysaur. He evolved. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> what is even happening? What is going on? There's a whole bunch of shit! I can't believe it! Wow! <laughs> oh shit, he popped up out of it. He got bullets. Look at the animation, look at the flips, look at the combos! This is insane. This is so large scale with all the wood and they're just flipping all over it. It's cool. Match that timing. Oh shit. That was smart. That was clever. Uh-huh. He just dropped that shit. That's all's fair in love and war. Holy shit. <laughs> they really are best friends. <laughs> they just bounced off of each other's feet. Oh, damn. Hanami's gonna experience the joy of battle and realize their true strength and unleash it. <laughs> They've already been plenty strong. Whoa, look at the flowers. I, that was like... We saw that before. It momentarily... Paralyzed him. Oh shit! The episode's probably gonna end. Son of a bitch! So you literally want to make coat racks out of people. Do I dare even ask why? I mean, I appreciate the craftsmanship. Clearly he knows what he's talking about and is passionate. But also... What? Well, that was a crazy fun episode. The animation was great, the choreography, the powers on display. That was all really cool. Hanami's wood powers are so expansive, so large scale, which is really terrifying. Because it can control all of that for such a long distance. And they can just make it disappear. It's not even just controlling stuff that already exists. It's manifestation of his cursed energy because he has so much of it. Very powerful. Yuji and Toto flipping around, running around on all that looks so cool. I'm looking forward to more of the fights, like whatever Mahito or Gojo might get up to. The grandpa guy and the coat rack guy. That's so weird. You see it sometimes in media, somebody wants to make art out of people, but it's it's just coat racks. That's the one thing he really likes. But anyway, back to this. This whole thing is about fighting Hanami and it was very fun start to finish. Everybody gets a turn a little bit. Unumaki pushes himself. I love Cursed Voice. I think that's such a cool power, so it's cool to see him use it. Even if he can't do it for very long, I don't know how long he can normally last, but against somebody this strong, the force of holding them back is so hard that he took some damage. Hopefully he can recover after that. And then we also had a bow and arrow blood guy with some good hits in there. And Megumi, of course. We did get confirmation that the Shikigami stay dead if they're fully destroyed, which I assumed I didn't want it to be the case, and I was still holding out hope that we would see some of them again that had been destroyed like the dog, but it had been so long without ever seeing it again that I kind of assumed that it wasn't coming back. And so we learned that the powers and the abilities like transfer to the other ones and blend together, which is really cool, and that also means he can add more, right? I don't know. I don't know how many available there are that you can collect like pokemon cards but if he can add more or turn them all into one you know like it sucks to have one die but it also means you get a cool new fusion <laughs> so that's interesting and uh maki those two fighting together was really fun with their cursed weapons good little show couldn't do too much though hanami just heals so fast so strong but now we got yuji and toto i love their relationship like, best friends, absolutely. Toto is 
such a good teacher to somebody that he cares about in many ways and he's letting him go out there and do it on his own figure out the black flash before he comes out and helps him we're gonna see his technique soon which i cannot wait for didn't he before like switch the places of people so i'm sure there's gonna be something like that to come but yeah the black flash i don't know how consistently yuji's gonna be able to do that but it is a major step up from where he just was like in that much time you can learn something that not only is majorly advanced, but also will help you in continuing to learn more about cursed energy and techniques. So this has been a big growing moment for him. It's gonna be the same for Hanami, kind of like how in the last arc, they helped Mahito inadvertently. Like he figured out how much joy he was having from battle and all these different ways he could experiment morphing his body and his domain expansion. And so by the end of it, he actually ended up stronger, which kind of sucks for them. If they don't beat Hanami entirely here, might be the same for him. Good for Yuji as well. He's also going to grow in this battle, but your enemies are also growing if you don't fully defeat them. So you gotta really try to take this guy out, but I mean, he's like one of the main groups, one of the main members of the group, and I don't know where the story's gonna go in the long run, but this group, led by Geto and Mahito, kinda seems like it's gonna be our main group of villains for the most part. You know, you might interchange certain people here and there, but I think a lot of them are gonna be around for a long time. I like how they brought up again that like, oh, if I tell you my technique, it works better. That's a cool little writing trick because that's a cliche in Shonen where people share their techniques with each other. So if you write it in that sharing your technique raises its power, it's a nice little way to have it make more sense. You kind of just accept it when you watch Shonen. Sometimes it gets annoying. It got really annoying in Bleach. But having that is kind of cool because even in the case of Hanami planting that thing in Megumi, yeah, you could not tell him, but he would probably figure it out pretty fast. So it's kind of a risk reward thing where he's like, okay, I'm going to tell him and see how much that increases its rate of growth. It's kind of cool. As for Black Flash, they said it's a two and a half times the force. That doesn't seem that great. Like it's good, obviously, but a trillionth of a second? Think about what that means. That timing is insane. I would hope for like a 10 times increase if I'm gonna have to time it that perfectly. And again, I don't know how consistently he's gonna be able to use it, but for as explosive as it was, like it was obviously very effective. So I guess I won't complain. Yuji is already so strong, so enhancing it by two and a half times is good. Definitely want Yuji to get more unique techniques in the future. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know if he'll be the one person ever to learn how to consistently use Black Flash, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll be a rare thing, 50-50. I don't know, this was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see more of it. That's about it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We can talk about it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. Check out the Patreon, I appreciate it a lot. That's it, I hope to see you for the next episode.